folks and welcome. My name is Mark Mahaffey and today we're going to paint a waterfall on UPO with transparent watercolor. What is UPO and why is it so much fun? UPO is a synthetic paper made out of polypropylene. Um, it is plastic and it has two main advantages, two advantages that I really like. One is the textural possibilities where gravity acts on water and paint and this very slick paper and creates textures that are really not achievable any other way. Two, subtractability. Because it's slick and the paint sits up on the surface, it's very easy to remove. Essentially, no mistakes. The disadvantage, allowing some of the technical aspects of painting on this surface or any other surface really to take the place of a well thought out concept, a good design and content or the heart of the artist. You notice I'm avoiding the middle of this right now. This is ultramarine blue that I have around the periphery. The opposite on our color wheel, the opposite color, the complement to blue is orange. I have red and yellow right here. And if I mix those together, it's going to create an orange. And then if I mixed all that with the blue, it would create a neutral or some kind of neutralized color because of the complements mixing. So at this point, I'm going to my water bucket and I'm going to pound all the blue out of there. And you can hear that. I'm aggressive. I want that blue out of there. Another reason not to use your very best Kalinsky Sable brushes for this kind of painting. These brushes are moderately priced and if you wear them out, you can buy another one. I'm a brushaholic and so I have a tendency to buy these three at a time. Now notice the intensity here. So, and I'm going to do a little mixing and look what happens. There's the neutral, the blending of the two complements. And again, I'm going to pound the blue out and continue. And I'd like the whole of this to flow just a little bit more. This is fun. Let's take our water and spritz this and get this to run and flow just a little bit. I'm adding more water on there. Yeah. Notice these little specks right here. I don't think I want white right there, so we just take a brush and cover those up. This is a middle value. Again, always choose the largest brush possible for the job at hand, and I'm pounding this just to make sure that all of the paint from the previous work is out of it. And we're going to start lifting the lights. So to do that, you have to reactivate the paint. So here I am putting this paint back into solution. And I've really not lifted much. And you would ask, you would wonder, why is that shape appearing lighter? Where did the paint go? Why is it a lighter value? The paint's here. So this thirsty brush, even though it was loaded with water, picked up some of that paint. And so we're just reactivating right now. And you can see me, there's a rock, and you can see me uh, look and refer to my sketchbook quite often. If I want that shape to be lighter, I can pound out that paint, touch paper towel, hit it again, and it will be lighter.
I'm going to pick this piece of paper up here in a minute, and we're just going to allow that paint to run. I'm going to do this a couple different ways. 